London Stone, it is the dead centre, the throbbing heart, which everything around London revolves. Before the stone was moved here, from opposite Cannon Street Station, people just walked past it. Most of them wouldn't even notice it was there. The stone has been in a variety of locations, so this is not its first move. Its last move was briefly to the Guildhall Museum before 111 Cannon Street was built. Before that, it was lodged in an alcove in St Swithin's Church. Before the 1770s, it was actually a much bigger entity, sitting dead centre in the middle of Cannon Street, outside what is now Cannon Street Railway Station. It's first mentioned in medieval records in about the year 1100, but it's already called London Stone. It's a landmark. The stone's appearance has changed over the years. It has weathered. The blacking on the front of it are the coal fires of the past. What we have now is the top foot and a half of what must have been at one time a quite an impressive monument. It's a lump of stone with a myth attached, and in some ways the myth is more important than the piece of stone. There is an old rhyme, so long as the stone of Brutus shall stand, so long shall London flourish. It isn't an ancient rhyme, it was actually invented by an eccentric Welsh clergyman in about 1862. But it seemed to have caught on, um, and ever since then people have believed there actually was a medieval myth. There wasn't a medieval myth, it was a 19th century myth. Shakespeare knew about the stone because he talks about it in Henry VI Part II when the Kentish rebel Jack Cade sits astride the stone and claims London. At the time of the Great Fire, the stone stood in the middle of Cannon Street. It's actually right in the heart of the burnt area. Presumably it survives because of its lack of proximity to burning buildings. It's always been a marker. It's always been an indicator for trade. London Stone is documented as having been a place where the master spectacle maker could smash spectacles of dubious quality. And we have a record of that. It has to be kept safe because it's a scheduled ancient monument and you don't get safer than a museum. It's weathered the storm like London itself has. It came through the Great Fire, it came through the Blitz. It survived redevelopment, so it's a survivor and one hopes to think that London is as well. London Stone will be returning to Cannon Street. It will be installed in the new version of the building at 111 Cannon Street and it'll have a position which is more prominent so visitors to London, city workers, people walking past will go, that's part of me, that's the heart of London.